So, welcome to Tech Tuesdays. This is Alex with Cam Logic, and we're going through NXCAD and an introduction to sheet metal with NX. And I'm an applications engineer. I work with NX here at Cam Logic. And who is Cam Logic? Well, as far as Cam Logic goes, we've been around since 1995 over here in Oxford, Michigan. It's north of Auburn Hills around the metro Detroit area. And our territories essentially cover Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, and Pennsylvania. We've got a pretty proven track record to say the least with 16 or more years in the business. And we have double digit annual growth just, just about every year or so. Uh, and we are here to make meaningful relationships with our customers, with our, you know, everyone we work with from Siemens to, to everybody who's doing, you know, drafting, CAD, CAM manufacturing. We've got industry expertise in cutting edge products and services to offer the very best there is out there. And as far as our people go, we definitely have a lot of experience and dedicated customer service to take care of questions as they arise or at least help you find the right direction. As far as our technologies go, we cover 3D scanning, 3D printing, and rapid prototyping. And of course, we cover CAD, CAM, CAE, and the PLM PDM side of the software. On the CAD CAM CAE and PLM side, we've got NX, Solid Edge, and VMAP, as well as Team Center. So a complimentary Siemens package of, of all this software and materials you need in order to uh, run your business and produce your products. We've been with Siemens now for 15 years too, so uh, we're partnering with Siemens, and we also like to partner with our customers to make sure that everybody's getting, you know, the best service possible. In 3D printing, we use Z Corp products, and our that's actually an image of our printer that we have. It's at 650, and uh, makes some uh, color color prints. And they're a pretty good size, but definitely have a lot of different things you can do. It gives you uh, something you can touch, look at, and visualize an actual part before you start producing it. And as far as our 3D scanning goes, we have Romer and Z Corp scanners. And uh, we also offer <laughs> oh shape grabber as well. That, that one just popped up. Uh, and we also offer GeoMagic products as far as software. We go uh, in the studio and qualify. So anything you need for 3D scanning purposes, we can offer as well. As far as training goes, we've got NX training now available. We can do that on site at your place, or you can come visit because we've got a staff, we've got a little lab here. So if you'd like to know more, go to CamLogic. Uh, you can send me an email at alexd at camlogic.com, or you can call us. So let's get into NX sheet metal. So essentially, the design of sheet metal parts intended for machinery, enclosures, brackets, uh, and other parts made with a brake press is pretty much what we go into with sheet metal. So a flat and uniform thickness part is key here. That's something you can't really forget and it's hard to go around. Uh, if you don't have a part that's got correct thickness, then uh, you could run into some issues or you, or you can't even get started in sheet metal. So uh, let's see, as far as the other features, you've got flange, corner features, punch features, cutting, convert, and uh, all different types of bends. So you can form unformed flanges, and also you can create flat patterns. And that's for, uh, for production especially, so that you have an idea of what you're actually doing to, to minimize on waste and maximize your efficiency. Let's see. So you've got also, you look through uh, defaults for material thickness, bend radius, bend relief, figure out neutral factors. And the design is driven by material selection, which is, which is key, bend table, tool identification or ID, um, and then also you can provide flat pattern treatments for validation of your sheet metal. So here's the strengths. You've got complete sheet metal design, so you can do anything, I mean there's, there's you're only limited to, you know, your own expertise or interest in using different commands. There are, there's extensive commands that you can use. Um, the patterning and making flat patterns is great. It definitely is, is useful and you can put annotations on there, so we'll get to that shortly. Uh, and also the, the ability to sheet to create sheet metal and convert to sheet metal. 
So you can take parts that are, you know, as long as basically your, your restriction is can you convert it to a uniform thickness part, and then you can roll from there. So continuing on, here's a toolbar. Uh, as you see, all the, the, the additional drop downs below the, the uh, first bar shows you all different types of operations that you can use. Uh, so a long list, and I mean, the, uh, the abilities that you have are, are not just you know limited to just that. There's there's also inside of each function in each dialog box that pops up, you have lots of options. It covers lots of different several operations. So let's continue on. With a flange, with the flange uh, function, it's easy to create flanges, and it usually consists of a bend and a web region. So you know you, you have to have your, your starting pieces, but you can work from there. Um, you have the ability to control the flange via very various different design parameters, and that includes flange dialog box, or you can use a global value. Uh, I prefer flange dialog. I mean, that's that's just based upon how you want to go about it. Um, provides a preview and the ability to uh, drag the handles, just like with any other operation you, that you're using sizes and dragging in from extrude to, to revolve. So you can you can work on the length, the angle, the offset to set up your flange. And also the, the ability to drive design parameters using material selection, bend table 2ID. Uh, once again, that's the same idea there. So let's check it out. Uh, let's see here. We need to go to NX. Uh, just a simple part here. Just a flat piece with a cut in it. And uh, first what I'm going to do is convert to sheet metal. It's uniform thickness. I made it about 1.5 millimeters, or approximately exactly. So with a flange, here's your dialog box that pops up. Doesn't look like much, but you've got options for your offset, bend parameters, relief, previews, always nifty. Gives you an idea of where it's going. So you've got all these options. Let's make something simple right here to start. I just want to make a flange off of this edge, edge right here, and it kind of pops up there. I can change the dimension of, of how high I want this to go. The angle could be 45 degrees, or I can I can actually drag it as well. Drag it to 45 degrees with the handles. So I've got my flange there. Pretty nifty. Okay. We gotta get back into here. Ah, shucks. This always happens to me in this. Okay. My apologies for that. All right. Now on the flanges. Also, here's here's again the dialog box that pops up. So you can work at work with select with options and the length angles offsets. Select the length reference whether it's from the inside to the outside. The inset, which is you know, could be varying based upon the material inside, outside, the bend outside. Uh, again, bend radius, neutral factor, or using global values. And you can select the relief too, so missing up there. Okay, that's a cool option that you have with, with sheet metal too, is to make a sheet metal uh, piece from a solid. So you can have something that bends around or, or shaped based upon a solid that's already created. So here's a, let's roll into this one. Next model. Pretty cool part. Got a couple features on it. You got your your holes and cuts, slots. So let's see here. Where do we go from this? We want to go. Where's my sheet? Hmm. Use the command finder to go to from sheet from solid actually. Sheet metal from solid. Cool. So that's the uh, command planner. Very useful when you can't find it off the top of your head. So first I select faces that I'd like. It's sometimes will give you an error because it wants the right bend edges. We can set that in a second. Um, back to 
couple faces. I just want a couple faces here just to cover this side. So I need one more bend to end right here. Make sure that it doesn't fail. And now I've got my bent sheet there. Just hide the body and there's my sheet. Includes all the features, the holes that are cut out. Um, so it's all good to go. And uh, I mean, from NX5, we've seen a lot of changes. So everything after NX6, same idea, but definitely more robust. Um, just to go back over sheet metal from a solid, you know, you could operate using you know multiple other bodies in order to create this flat sheet. So you got you can add tabs to bend regions. It allows you to, to design around the voids and so that makes it a lot simpler than rather than have to regenerate an entire you know separate body and a sheet body for the sheet metal. It's just kind of right off of it using the same dimensions, the same geometry in the model. Um, so you saw that that one works too, so it's also more robust than it used to be. As far as a closed corner goes, we have a lot of different operations or, or uh, dialogues uh, options in order to look at the closed corner capabilities here. So as far as that goes, <coughs> closed corner simply is, you know, where, where two or more flanges meet. And we also have a three corner option, which is also an improvement on what we've had before. But you can specify all different sorts of different bend corners, different slots that, that meet and how to set the gap. And it also helps you close it when you make it or uh, as you're making it, and it's also you know you can modify from a your sheet metal piece that was made from your solid body that can be generated also since it, it does it very intuitively, but also sometimes you want a particular you know your different design intent with a different corner and how it folds together when you do make that piece. Um, a dimple, I'm sure you know what a dimple is, creates an indentation in the sheet metal part, so you can take a sketched outline. Just any old, you know, curve, rectangle, circle, and then you can make a dimple from it, and you can specify the height, the radius, uh, and radii of the dimple, and also, you know, whatever, whatever dimensions you'd like. So let's do a quick look, see at that one. Next model. So we'll go back to this guy. Already got it. Made a sheet metal. Let's do a dimple. Make this proper orientation. Quick rectangle here. And it will generate a dimple right in the middle of my part where I specify the curve, which is this rectangle. I don't really want it that tall. It's kind of kind of huge. I just want it to stick up a little bit. And that covers Simple, simple, simple setup. Um, we've got enough different ways to set the radii so that you can modify it as you as you need to suit your intent. So that's simple. All right, and also there's flat pattern. Uh, essentially, what's really cool about flat pattern is it's it's simple, quick, and also it helps you annotate. So you can go right from Round your part to, to flattening it out if it's if it's sheet metal and oriented correctly. So it's a quick and easy way to set that up. Pretty simple part. Got a few bends in it. Do flat pattern. This is already sheet metal, so it's converted. It's flat, uniform. Click, pick a face. Click OK. Click like butter. And the dialog box that came up right there after, essentially you just put it in a separate view for me. So you go to model views after you make that sheet metal part, and the flat pattern 30 gives me my flat pattern with annotations. Let me rearrange these a little bit. Telling me all about my bend radius scheme, my bend radii, my angles. So you know everything that's going on, and you've got all the bends set up so you don't have to do all the the dirty work and 
putting in all your bend angles as you go up the stuff for you. So I mean, save you a lot of time. I can't imagine you know going and adding all these one by one every time when you could just do this and pull it right off, print it out for for everybody on the floor to take a look see. So that's simple, simple as it looks. Um, there's also unbend, and it allows you to unbend the entire board or just portions. You just maybe want to unbend a couple, a couple flanges or or just see what's up. And this can be useful for, for multiple reasons. Don't let, don't let me limit you. Next one here. So I've got a few bends in here. Go to unbend up on the uh, sheet metal toolbar. Gotta select the face first. Just to set the base. So I can I can do all of the bends. You see you got all the flanges bent back up. Everything's flat. Essentially a flat pattern again. But maybe I just want a few, so let's uh start this afresh. Maybe I just want to unbend. Gotta select my face again. I just wanted to unbend this one and this one. And this bend. Well, I mean, we'll see. Okay. It has to be relative to this face, so I'll unselect that one. And there you go. Just a couple. That one's still done. Pretty straightforward. That's not done. Um, let me just go back first before I get into anything else. As far as sheet metal goes, I mean, I didn't mean to shorten this too much, but I mean you can go in to look at beads and louvers, uh, similar setup as, as dimple. You can rip edges, you can unbend and rebend. Um, you can do a flat pattern from, from parts. I'll go through one more flat pattern just to just to demonstrate how simple it is. Okay, and we've got uh, this guy right here. I want to take this, unbend it, and I'll actually want to do the flat pattern. Do the flat pattern. It's going to generate a new view just so I can see it separate. Okay. Flat pattern four. Tells me all my angles and radii again. Might need a little bit of rearranging still. Make it for, for clarity's sake, but very straightforward. This flat pattern. So you can go back to see. There's so many different things you can do with sheet metal that, that you know don't let it limit you. Just the major limitation is whether you have a uniform part that works in the sense that you know you're actually generating something that can relate to sheet metal. And so you know the thickness of whatever for your aluminum, for your for your steel, you know, 1020 steel that you're gonna you're gonna cut up. Find the blank for it. Maybe you just need a simple blank that's just rectangular and has a couple huts in it. Uh, this can help you figure it out and, and to generate your flat pattern could be so much quicker if you if you use well, it's just a couple techniques here. This way. Alright, upcoming webinars we've got uh, today was sheet metal, so I'll have Jim FEMAP for coming up. Uh, we'll be back to NX in August, the NX reuse library. And Cam towards the end of August to take a look at that, but solid edge mixed in there. A little bit of FEMAP. If you want to see other replays of videos we've got as far as solid edge NX, um, we've also got Siemens generated uh, webinars. You can come check those out on our Cam Logic YouTube page, uh, which you can find in a link through camlogic.com, or you can also go to YouTube, type in Cam Logic, and you can find our channel through there. I'm Alex Dudek, and I do the NX support here. It's alexd at camlogic.com. Our phone number is 248-969-9201 and camlogic.com if you want to get in touch with us. Thanks for joining us.